Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. We'll get a look at a man that has a lot riding on his shoulders this year. Jake the Snake, Jake Plummer. He'll try to improve on his numbers from 2003 as he gets the start in this one. Denver, New Orleans, straight ahead. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello folks, I'm Dan Stevens, welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense. And these are reliable as they come. John Lynch is one heck of a strong safety. He's very skilled at pass coverage. He's got the ability to stick to his man and just deny him the ball for the whole game. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Jay Bellamy is one heck of a strong safety. He's got an excellent mind for football, Dan, and his determination to make the most of every down means that you very rarely see him make a bad play. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I choose tails. It's heads. Jason Elam kicking off. There's the, the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Saints football. Elam kicks it off to begin the game. Stecker downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Saints will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Gash has his number called on first down gains close to 10 yards on the play. Sam Gass took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets second paid for. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play. And now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. <laughs> Picked up about 12, and that brings up first down. Bruce McAllister sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your first blockers, Dan. They clear a path, oh, you use the path. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, two tight ends in the game. McAllister gets the call again Deuce and McAllister, maybe picks up carrier. one on the play. John Mobley with the tackle. Deuce McAllister got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make second a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Brooks throws a heater and it Passes falls incomplete. incomplete. Joe, Joe Horn, Horn didn't have anybody receiver. on him, and yet he couldn't make the Kelly catch. Herndon that would have set up a very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Third and nine. Ball at the Saints, 43-yard line. Callister <laughs> catches it in the flat. He's well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. John Lynch made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Smith takes it at the 12. Stop 
at the 36. Rod Smith gets some congratulations from his special teams coach on this one. See, he makes the catch, and now he's off to get some more good yards and help his team out with field position. Good play. The Broncos get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 36-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Smith snags the missile, and that's good for six. Pass interference, number 22, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic Fred Thomas first down. slapped around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. Try to slither first out of this one, I'm coming, Jake. Ball at the Broncos, 42-yard line. Plummer throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped is incomplete. incomplete. Uh, Ashley, Ashley Ambrose managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second, Second down, down coming up. Second oh, down, oh, 10 oh, yards oh, to go. Oh, Smith goes in motion. side and is well past the markers for a first down first and 10 ball at the 41 well Dan we got an empty backfield five receivers and the defense is in their dime let's watch Plummer throws a bullet and he connects for a pickup of four on the play Jake Plummer threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. They move the ball, and it will be second ball down. 37. Two wideouts on the field. Lalee goes in motion. Plummer rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Derek Rogers came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Elam launches the 51-yard attempt and has it sailed just left of the upright. Jason Elam is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch this. Well, he'll want to redeem himself after that. The question is, will his coach trust him with another long one next time? The Saints had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 42-yard line. Brooks just rifles this one, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Joe Horn faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Wow, look at last year's stats. Talk about a great season. A 
McAllister Deuce picks McAllister up a yard the on the play, carrier. and that brings Number up second down. With the tackle. Deuce McAllister had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Second Got to take what you can get, Dan, All but they were, three. you know, hoping for more. Stallworth goes in motion. Brooks throws a beauty to the right side. And it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Aaron Brooks threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. him but look what happens incredible catch that's his first touchdown of the day and i think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches he sets a high standard for himself and he usually meets it now the extra point and the extra point is good, good. signal and we're set Carney booms a beauty here but downs this in the end zone for a touchback the Broncos stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here they'll start at their own 20 yard line the lead goes in motion. First, will get Garrison stopped with the line, and Garrison. that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Garrison Hurst played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes second for him. And nine. Second down with the tight All end right. will gain close to six. Garrison Hurst, one of those old dogs that can still get it done. 12-year man out of Georgia. You think you lose your skills with age? <laughs> this guy doesn't know how to slow down. Chews up four yards, and they convert the third down. First down, Broncos. Come on, that's not defense, eh? Let's buckle down here. Buckle down. Watch the ball. First and ten. Watch the ball. ball at the Broncos, 31-yard line. Malie goes in motion. First gets past the line and heads wide left. 40. First Eventually down, pushed out of bounds at the 34. That will bring up first down. Ashley Ambrose lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before he can stop him. 
There's the push to send him out of bounds. Very forceful, but really almost pointless. Yeah, like smashing the barn door after the horses are already escaped. A big pickup there, and this defense cannot be happy. If there was any saving grace there, it was that they didn't give up six points as well. First down, one man down. Loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Orlando Ruff targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Watts catches the heater left sideline, and that's a touchdown. Darius Watts really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Come on, Jason stop Elam to attempt the extra point. Number 13, holding. <laughs> Now the extra point, and the extra point is it's good. good. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, keep this thing on me all game. All game. Yeah. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam rockets this one deep. Stallworth decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Dante Stallworth got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Saints offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 21-yard line. with a carry on first down and runs into traffic. Dragged down at the 22. Deuce McAllister got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. And this is nothing but Second read and, and react, Peter, which is what all, all defenders are taught. Yard. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner, stepping up and doing his job. Dollar catches this one and tries to get free. Eventually tackled at the 50. It will be first down. First down, tight end to the left. Horn goes in motion. Brooks zings it to the right side, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Pass interference, number 24, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Champ Automatic Bailey first down. manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. I see you, first and 10. Ball at the 42-yard line. McAllister gets the toss and he gets past the line. Deuce McAllister, the ball Brought carrier. down at the 39. Al Wilson with the tackle. Yo, Second and seven. Ball at the 39. Brooks unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete. Number 25 with the deflection. You ain't getting nothing past me. Aaron nothing Brooks is putting no. on quite no. a display out there, Dan. He's finding his receivers and getting into a rhythm out there, both with the long and the short ball. He's racked up 86 yards and one touchdown.
Third down, three wideouts in the game. 39. Ferguson makes a play on this and Number forces the incompletion. The Fourth All down day, coming up. Nick Ferguson managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. A nice defensive play will give him his second Don't batted ball of the game. Yeah, great formation. read there. Smith, Smith, Berger Smith, gets Smith ready return. to punt this away. Berger gets the ball and kicks what will be a short one. Smith fields the short punt at the 16. Return of 11 on the Tackled play. at the 27. Yeah. Bring it Rod Smith day. got some nice yardage on the run back, adding insult to injury on the kicking team's horrendous punt. First the Broncos ten. send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Hurst gains eight Garrison yards, Hurst, and that here. will bring up second down. Hey, Jones, with Garrison Hurst down. played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now second they have a bunch two. of options on what to try Broncos, next. Second down with a split backfield. Anderson throws right up the middle and gets well past the markers for a first. First down, Broncos. First and ten. Ball at the Broncos, 41 yard line. Randy, 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 Randy,
Second down, Second four. four yards to go. Ball at the Saints, 41-yard line. Payton goes in motion. Brooks lobs this one over the middle, and this that one is incomplete. incomplete. Aaron Brooks threw an incomplete Jerome pass there. The you know, maybe that's receiver. lucky since there were two defenders in that zone. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Ball at the Saints, 41-yard line. Defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Callister <laughs> gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Callister gets the call on second down and picks up the first down. Bruce McAllister stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. But look at those last year numbers there. That's great production. Brooks throws this on a rope, and first the catch is made six. well past the markers for a first down. Brooks completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 116 yards and one touchdown. Callister picks up about two, and that brings up second down. With the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 22-yard line. Slides down at the 14. First down. Brooks on nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty successful play there. He's never more dangerous than when he improvises like that. Horn catches the bullet out left hand, and he stopped right there. Pass interference. Number 31, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Kelly Herndon slapped down. around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. Come on, y'all. First and Stop goal. The pass now. Ball at the six-yard line. Brooks takes it to the right side, and it's caught for the score. Aaron Brooks uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Right-o, Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. That gives him his second touchdown of the day. Dan, he's definitely making his presence felt out there as well as on the scoreboard. Here's the extra point, and the extra it's point good. Is good. There's the 
signal, and we're ready. Carney kicks it off. Drowns, fields it all the way back at the one. Stop at the 22. Ruben Drones got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, huh? don't touch. First and the Broncos ten. will start this drive at their own 22 yard line. Tackle at the 26. And that'll do it That's for quarter, quarter number one. The Saints are out in front, 14 to seven. Second down, both tight ends left. with the tackle. Third down. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Rod Smith put himself in the right place back there, coming across the middle, but the catch was elusive, no dice. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Nor lines up to punt after the three and out. Nor takes the long snap and punts it away. Lewis fields it at the 32. On the play. Tackled at the 38. Michael Lewis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Saints offense takes the field and they will start out at their 38 yard line. Gash carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Sam Gash used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Okay. Got to take what you can second get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping Ball for more. Saints, 40 yard line. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and incomplete. it's tipped. Number incomplete. With the deflection. Aaron Brooks, he's showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far, and he's got 122 yards and two touchdowns. Third and eight. Ball at the Saints, 40-yard line. him down in the backfield and that takes them even farther away from the markers fourth down coming up willie middlebrooks was a one-man wrecking crew back there he powered into the backfield and made the tackle make the return burger lines up for the punt burger takes the long snap and punts it away smith fields the punt at the 23. Back down at the 36. Rod Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. First and 10. The Broncos offense is now on the field, and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at their 36-yard line. 
Smith goes in motion. Intercepted. Stop at the 34. Cedric Hodge not only shanghais the football for the interception, but watch. Gets a few more after the catch. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Saints are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. McAllister punches McAllister, this one left carrier. of center and picks Al up Wilson a couple. With the tackle. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. McAllister three gains line. three yards, and that brings up third down. Okay, fellas, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Third and five. Ball at the 29. Brooks throws a big rainbow here, and Passes it's incomplete. off incomplete. Deuce McAllister, Deuce McAllister had receiver. that ball in his hands on that Al play, Wilson and then he just the dropped it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. You know, Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, Pittsburgh. it really hurts. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Carney boots it from 46 yards out, and it's good. John Carney knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. There's the signal, and we're ready. Carney rockets this one deep. Drowns decides to take it out of the end zone. Back down at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. Ruben Drones got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but First it didn't really Denver, hurt him either. Denver. The Broncos haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 22-yard line. Hurst picks up 11 on the play, and that will bring up first down. First down, Broncos. Garrison Hurst sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, yeah, that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 67 yards on nine carries. Plummer goes a bullet here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fred Thomas managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That is their fourth batted ball. Trust Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down, two receivers to the left. Smith goes in motion. Didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Mike Anderson would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch. 
incomplete. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Bakir Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Nor gets ready to punt this away. Nor gets the ball and punts it away. Lewis catches it at the 30. Tackled at the 38. Michael Lewis did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. Let's go. The Saints come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 38-yard line. Brooks rifles it out left side and it incomplete. is not reeled in. Incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Aaron Brooks is checking off his receivers, finding the open man, and that's evident as you review the chart here. Note the short passes and how that's enabled him to rack up 122 yards and two touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the Saints, 38-yard line. It's intercepted. Brought down at Bronco. the 50. Nick Ferguson shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Broncos offense has to score here. This drive will start at their 50 yard line. Lalee goes in motion. Carriers clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Ruff tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Orlando Ruff not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but Buffed and Third polished down. it, too. Big hit for a loss. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Cedric Hodge brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. They stopped the goal. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Nor lines up to punt after the three and out. Nor takes the snap and punts it away. First and ten. The Saints were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Dalworth goes in motion. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. 
Brooks unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Pass is incomplete. incomplete. Nick Ferguson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball, and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D hand. like that, Dan. Ball at the Saints, 20-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Sam Gash used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Wilson makes the sack just behind the line. Fourth down coming up. Al Wilson dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. They stand tall and force a loss of yardage there. That's going to bring up a difficult fourth and long. Berger lines up for the punt. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Smith peels the punt at the 38. Tackled at the 49. Rod Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Broncos offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 49-yard line. Plummer throws a bullet to the flat, and... It's caught at the 47. Pass, Pass complete. Yeah, Runs right out of bounds at oh, the yeah, 44. Yeah, baby, Ashley Lee yeah. must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five. Ball at the 44-yard line. First, choose up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Ashley Ambrose brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Well, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Weaver goes in motion. Anderson will get the carry on third down and converts the third down. Mike Anderson got a little help for his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. A nice play, and, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Smith grabs the bullet first and as well Bronco. past the markers for a first down. Rod Smith has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to beat his man. A couple of the First best banging Bronco. heads there. Plummer dumps it out left, and the reception's made at the seven. Brought down hard at the three. It'll be first and goal. First down from the eye. Anderson goes in motion. with the tackle. Defense, Second and pass. goal. Ball at the three. Plummer rolls this one to the end zone and it's incomplete. Pass interference, number 22, defense. 
The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Fred Thomas manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass goal. interference. Strong back. Ball at the one. Strong back. Takes it for his 14th carry and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 74 Let's yards see. and one Let's touchdown. Number 13, holding. <laughs> Here's the point after, the and extra point is good. it's good. <laughs> the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elam kicks this one away. Decker fields the kickoff at the one. What down at the 19. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at how many times they've had to punt it away. They've got to put a few longer drives together and get into the end zone. Aaron Stecker got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Saints have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 19-yard line. McAllister loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. John Mobley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his Second fourth tackle of the contest. Ball at the Saints. Second down, three now. wideouts in the game. Breaks free. Chase down at the 29. Aaron Brooks is dangerous when he had libs, Dan. Check it out. Oh, that scramble got him some yards. He was lucky on that one. Third and inches. Right here and right now. Ball at the Saints, 29 yard line. Down. Down. Set. Callister picks up the yard on the play and they will move the chain. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Joe Horn doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely, Dan. He's now got 101 yards on six catches. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. McAllister goes in motion. Brooks zips it to the left sideline and it's complete at the 44. Finally dropped at the 40. It will be first down. Aaron Brooks is putting on a passing clinic today. Check this out. As you can see, he's been getting the deep ball off with ease. So far, he's got 152 yards and two touchdowns. Hey, guys, they want to pass. Want to pass. Want to pass. Holds on to it for the first down. Pass interference, number 31, defense. The penalty is declined. Hands 
First and ten. Ball at the 21. Weak back. Weak back. Blue 13. Brooks throws a heater, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Tips it away on the coverage, Kelly incomplete. Herndon with the deflection. Kelly Herndon got himself in prime ah, position to on. bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Ball at the six-yard line. Some football player. Watch the extra effort on this one, Dan. Oh, that dive was really sensational. He made a good play into a great play. He may not have the carries, but the times he has carried it, good things have happened, like this touchdown. That shows the kind of confidence they put in him, letting him take the ball in big situations. <laughs> now the point after, and it's the extra good. Point is good. Booms a beauty here. Drowns decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> Tackled at the 23. Ruben Drones took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Broncos can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Lali goes in motion. Lali catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Second and nine. Ball at the Broncos, 24-yard line. Rodgers penetrates and stops that pack at the 20. Derek Rodgers keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Oh, ooh, that's gonna hurt. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Watts makes the catch out to the left, and he will be short of the first down. That will bring up fourth down. Fred Thomas let his man get some yards on the play, but then he stopped him. Let's check it out. Yeah, he saved the play by tackling him before the marker. And Peter, he reminds me a little of a, of a lion laying in the weeds out there waiting to pounce. And you need cat-like reflexes to bring that guy down. What a matchup. Nor lines up to punt after the three and out.
Snore takes the snap and punts it away. Lewis gets it at the 25. Jukes stopped at the 41. Michael Lewis ran it back for a solid game. That was a good punt, but he really made up for it. The Saints come out on the field and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their 41-yard line. Alistair is at the 45, runs out, and that will stop the clock at 1.45. First down. First down and rambles for about five. Number 25 with the tackle. Second down, one man back. Ball at the 36 yard line. As well, past the markers for a first down. First and ten. Ball at the 27th. Brooks lofts this one out to the left, and it's tipped. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete. Number 25. Nick Ferguson with the came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth. So far, Second wow, great anticipation of the Ball pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Horn catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for six. Joe Horn had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to... Gene whether the pass was caught inbounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. Third down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Team focus. Team focus. Get back out there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's finish this series off strong, D. Ball at the 27. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, yeah, good job, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Mitch Berger holding. Carney with the 44-yard attempt, and it's good. John Carney sends it losing between the goal post for a field goal right down the pike. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. There's the signal, and we're ready. Carney booms a beauty here. 
Drowns decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackle back to 19. Ruben Drones took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. First the Broncos stalled and early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. Lali goes in motion. takes his 16th carry of the game and heads wide right runs Harrison out and Hurst. that will stop the, the clock at 40 Garrison Hurst has taken it to the offense sure enough but you have to credit him for that huge run he broke off earlier real dangerous as soon as he gets past the line I like his numbers here so far he's racked up 75 yards and one touchdown Second and one. Ball at the Broncos, 28-yard line. First, will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Cedric Hodge. Cedric Hodge made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Third down with the tight end right. First will get the handoff and heads out right. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. And that'll do it for the first the half of this of one. Game. The Saints enjoying the lead 27 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dave. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Saints are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Jake the Snake Plumber would find his target on this one. A 17-yard play that set up a Bronco field goal, but they couldn't connect. The Saints, after a missed field goal, the Saints have the ball at the 24. Aaron Brooks connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the Saints. The Bronx answering right back. Bronx losing by seven. Darius Watts is going to work to get himself open, as you see. He hauls it in. They tie it up. Seven all. Saints still midway through the first quarter. Dante Stallworth ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. Game tied, seven all. Aaron Brooks needed to be on target here, and he was. A six yard touchdown for the Saints. The Bronx now in the second quarter. Cedric Hodge was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Saints, after getting an interception, Saints out in front by seven. John Carney, good night, everybody. Sets up for a long one here. He's got plenty of boot behind this one. It's through. They're now up by 10. The Saints on D. Nick Ferguson is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Saints up 17 to seven. Garrison, first I look at the Hurst, was able to make things pay off on the ground. A one-yard touchdown for the Broncos. The Broncos climb back again and are now down by three. Saints late in the second quarter, the ball at the six. Aaron Brooks got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. A six-yard touchdown for the Saints. Saints still late in the second quarter. Saints is up by 10. Ace. Deuce and plenty of use McAllister get up ahead of steam and then it was clear sailing from there. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are up at the half, 27 to 14.
time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Aaron Brooks has played outstanding. So that does it for our Halftime Report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Broncos get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right Don't out of the gates to get back the into this one. They currently trail 27 to 14. Now let's get to the game. Matisse downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos' offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Second, Second down with a split backfield. Ball at the Broncos, 23 yard line. The lead goes in motion. <laughs> Smith catches the bullet out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Hello? First and 10. Ball at the Broncos, 45 yard line. First, we'll get the carry on first down, and Derrick picks Derrick up a couple. Derrick Rogers with the tackle. Try to slither Second and seven. I'm coming, Jake. Ball at the Broncos, 47 yard line. knows how to spread the ball around as you can see by this passing show. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 134 yards and one touchdown. Third down, empty backfield. Smith goes in motion. Lobs this one way over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. The Bucky Jones came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Nor gets ready to punt this away. Nor gets the ball and punts it away. Lewis heals the punt at the 13. Drag down at the 26. Michael Lewis did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Saints come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Yeah, two's up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Saints, 30-yard line. Callister takes it off the toss and heads up field. Back down at 
the 36. It will be first down. Bruce McAllister sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. And Peter, this is a guy that won't shy away from contact. He'll square those shoulders and come right at you. Heck, he'll go through you. And I'll tell you what, that was no punch and Judy tackler he ran through there. Brooks zings it to the right side Passes and they incomplete. can't connect. Incomplete. Second and 10. Ball at the Saints, 36 yard line. Bailey crushes him behind the line at the 34. Champ Bailey was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Brooks passes this one after the play action, and they get the first on third and long. Oh, look there, 150-plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. McAllister picks up Deuce a yard McAllister. on the play, the and that brings all up right. second down. With the tackle. Deuce okay. McAllister all got right. some help on that one in the form of blocking, but... He still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. Second It'll be second eight. down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Payton goes in motion. Brooks rifles this one hard over the middle. And the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Dante Stallworth makes the catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew it was coming. Yeah, Peter, I think you could argue that that throw probably should never have been made. It was very risky, but it did work out. Yeah, it's all about staying focused and believing in your teammates. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. It's intercepted! Pushed out at Broncos. the 21. <laughs> Dan, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Broncos are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Anderson goes in motion. First, he'll take this one off the toss and rambles for about five. Garrison Hurst has been taking it inside, taking it outside, heck, <laughs> wherever this guy wants. What a workhorse. I love it. So far, he's piled up 86 yards and one touchdown. Second and four. Ball at the Broncos, 26-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Garrison Hurst powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down for the on. Plummer throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball's caught at the 29. And he's stopped right there. Kraft will get credited with the tackle on the force out. It'll be fourth down. Nor lines up to punt after the three and out. Yeah. 
Schnorr gets the snap and punts it away. Lewis takes it at the 34. Tackled at the 45. Michael Lewis racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Saints had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 45-yard line. Gash will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Second down, tight end to the left. Ball at the Saints, 45-yard line. Herndon hunts him down and then finally tackles him just behind the line. Kelly Herndon was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Definitely. Brooks throws a key to the right side. And it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Well, check out the passing performance here. Talk about yards. Horn goes in motion. McAllister carries it past scrimmage and gains about three yards. Second down, two tight ends in the game. McAllister will get the carry on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Al Wilson with the tackle. You the man, you the man. Yeah. Third and six. Ball at the 30-yard line. will bring up fourth down. Aaron Brooks tried to scramble his way out of trouble back there, but doesn't get much in the way of yardage. You know, it's hard to improvise a play like that, and once you cross the line, you become one-dimensional and much easier to take down. Fourth down, two yards to go. Honey with the 42-yard attempt and just makes it inside the left upright. John Carney takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by Pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. Sorry. Carney kicks this one away. Drowns catches it back at the two. Tackled at the 26. Ruben Drones was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. First and 10. The Broncos' offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 26-yard line. Plummer throws a bullet to the flat, and it is incomplete. not reeled in. Incomplete. Ashley Lee tried a quick out back there to get free, but the pass was incomplete. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second and 10. Ball at the Broncos, 26-yard line. Four yard line. 
Cedric Hodge not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down, empty backfield. Plummer just rifles this one and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 31. Jay Bellamy put the football back for a little gain after he picked it off. He was hoping for more, but, you know, he'll take it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Saints start this drive already in field goal position, and they're going to line up at the 31-yard line. Alistair chews up four yards, and that will bring okay, up guys, second down. We've covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Stick to the plan. Second and six. Ball at the 27th. Gallister gets the ball again and heads left. Stopped at the 22. Deuce McAllister was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. McAllister chews up four yards, and that will bring up first down. Here's McAllister. Got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. McAllister carries it for the 24th time and rambles for about five. Second and four. Ball to 13. McAllister carries it yet again and Deuce picks McAllister, up a couple. Deuce McAllister Jeff used the blocking, the but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on third that play. Three. It will be third down. Third down, one man back. Brooks hooks this one to the end zone and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Was the intended receiver? Nick Ferguson took care of his part of the field during this play. He plays the zone perfectly and disrupts the pass. Watch this. Yep, and the pass falls incomplete. That's great coverage. The defense denies the opportunity for the score and instead forces them into a fourth down situation. Pressure cooker of a play and the D played it tight. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Carney from 28 yards out and puts it straight through the uprights and good. John Carney has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Four for four. Fantastic job of kicking the ball so far. You gotta love kickers that are automatic like that. Carney rockets this one deep. Drowns decides to take it out of the end zone. Break down at the 23. Ruben Drones got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Broncos are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 23-yard line. Smith goes in motion. This 
This one will Passes fall incomplete. With the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Broncos, 23 yard line. Plummer zips it to the left sideline and it's incomplete. off incomplete. Despite a huge hit there, they are still short of the first down, though. Fourth down coming up. Cedric Hodge managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Nor lines up for the punt. Nor takes the long snap and punts it away. Lewis fields the punt at the 31. Brought down at the 33. Michael Lewis got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Saints offense takes the field and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. They start at their 33 yard line. McAllister takes this one way out left and picks up a couple. Second and eight. Ball at the Saints, 35 yard line. McAllister gains McAllister three yards, and that brings up third Number down. 25 with the tackle. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Saints, 38 yard line. Callister hauls it in right side. And he's just short of the first down. It'll be fourth down. John Lynch made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Smith catches it at the 15. Tackled at the 27. Rod Smith racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Broncos haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 27-yard line. Lee didn't haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls Ashley incomplete. Was the intended Ashley Ambrose shadowed the Ashley slant Ambrose route back there and the kept the receiver from making the catch incomplete pass potential for some nice yards but the defense plays it tough that will bring up second down second down both wide outs to the right the lead goes in motion plumber zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete Jay Bellamy swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Puts a lick on 
the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Nor lines up for the punt. Nor gets the ball and punts it away. Lewis fields the punt at the 30. Tackled at the 42. Michael Lewis did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Saints stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 42-yard line. the 46. Second and six. Ball at the Saints, 46 yard line. Brooks uncorks this to the left sideline and it's incomplete. tipped. Incomplete. With the deflection. Aaron Brooks knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 259 yards and three touchdowns. Third and six. Ball at the Saints, 46-yard line. Horn goes in motion. Side and he will be short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Champ Bailey brought down the ball yeah, carrier cool. before the markers. Cool. There was some gain there, but not Ron enough Smith for the first. The He's got seven tackles so far. Berger lines up to punt after the three and out. Berger takes the snap and punts it away. Smith gathers it up at the nine. Touchdown at the nine. Fair catch interference. Number 29, offense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Q. Craver made contact on that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. You just can't do that. The Broncos will start this first play of the drive at their own 27 yard line. Gains five on the play, the and that brings up second the down. With the tackle. And that'll do it for the third That's quarter. The, the Saints the quarter. in command of this one, 33-14. Lee goes in motion. Hurst goes right up the middle and maybe picks up one on the play. Garrison Hurst had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. He's not made much headway up the middle, although it's not for lack of trying, and that's for sure. They can't get effective blocking there. You gotta go elsewhere. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Hurst gets the ball on third down and is dropped short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. 
Orlando Ruff made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Nor gets ready to punt this away. Nor takes the long snap and punts it away. Lewis fields it at the 22. Stopped at the 28. Michael Lewis didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Saints have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 28-yard line. McAllister takes his 28th carry and maybe picks up one on the play. Deuce McAllister had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. They gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Horn goes in motion. Brooks rifles it out left side and it's incomplete. It's incomplete with the deflection. Let's go, Saints! Convert it! Come on, convert it! Third and nine. Ball at the Saints, 29 yard line. This pass will pass fall harmlessly to the ground, and the it's incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Berger lines up Mitch to punt Berger after the three and out. Rod Smith to make the return. <laughs> Berger gets the snap and punts it away. Smith fields the punt at the 28. Drag down at the 35. Rod Smith got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Broncos haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 35-yard line. Gets the handoff and runs into traffic. Young tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Brian Young was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Ineligible receiver, number 72. Offense. Five-yard penalty. George Foster got down. hit by the ball. He wasn't expecting it, didn't mean to, but unfortunately he was an ineligible receiver, and that's a penalty. Second and 15. Ball at the Broncos, 30-yard line. Lalee goes in motion. It's intercepted. Tackle at the 46. I'm coming down. Oh, 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 The Bucky Jones benefits from a huge error on the receiver's part. The ball gets dropped. And he's there to scoop it up. But I don't think he's going to give it back. <laughs> That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Saints start this one on the center logo at the 46-yard line. Hunts him down back at the 48. 
DJ Williams was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's now up to six tackles. Second and 12. Ball at the 48-yard line. Lucy, Lucy! Shotgun, shotgun! Shot! Gray, 34! Williams didn't Passes haul that one in, and it falls Number incomplete. Was the Blue Williams receiver. got open on that last play Number by running an inside route, cover. but couldn't get to the ball incomplete. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. Third they just well. don't sync up. Good call. Ball Maybe next time it'll work. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the markers. Fourth down coming up. Berger lines up for the punt. Formation. Rod Smith to make the return. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Smith gets it at the 13. Brought down at the, the 20. Rod Smith got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Broncos were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Plummer throws this on a rope, and it's tipped is incomplete. incomplete. Ashley Ambrose with the deflection. Woo! That ball ain't going nowhere. Jake Plummer, he's really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 144 yards and three interceptions. Try to slither Second out of this and one. ten. I'm coming, Jake. Ball at the Broncos, 20-yard line. Blocks goes in motion. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Ashley Lalee got open on that last play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. gets all of his arm into this pass first and they get the long. first on third and long Darius Watts faces down two defenders and comes away with the football oh nice catch that's the second long ball he's reeled in today one long ball is plenty but two is something to be stoked about first and ten ball at the Broncos 46 yard line Watts goes in motion. First, he will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Orlando Ruff targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. He's done his part defensively, and now he's racked up his 10th tackle. And it's all about closing speed at the linebacker position, and he's got it. Plummer unloads this to the right sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Ashley Ambrose did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance, incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, 10 yards to go. Weaver catches it over first the middle, Bronco. and they get the first on third and long. Jed Weaver has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. 
he beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Lalee goes in motion. Plummer throws this one deep down the right sideline, and the reception's made at the six. Finally stopped at the four. It'll be first and goal. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. Come on. Jake Plummer lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got no 224 prison. yards and one prison. touchdown. Ball at the four yard line. Bellamy targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Plummer ropes this to the end zone and it's tipped incomplete. Cedric Hodge got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking yeah, the pass up. every yeah, chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Lalee goes in motion. Catches it in the flat, and that's not enough. He's short of the marker. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, goal to go. Elam with a 21-yarder, and this one is up and in. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Woo. I'll tell you. Jason Elam has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Jason Dan, Elam the defense has to be ball. happy with how that one played out. There's the signal, and we're ready. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. First the Saints offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. his number call on first down and will gain close to six. Second and four. Ball at the Saints, 26-yard line. Horn makes the catch in the flat and gains a couple. Aaron Brooks had no trouble singing that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. And why not? He's had success there. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Saints, 28 yard line. Third down, and can't the convert the third down. It'll be fourth down. Al Wilson just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. And as far as tackles go, this was a pretty good one. He had this one lined up from the get-go. Well, you kids at home, if you're thinking about playing D, pay attention. That's exactly what you want to do. Fields the punt at the 27. Stop at the 32. 
Rod Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Broncos get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Plummer rifles it out left side, and yards. the completion is good for six. Rod Smith easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. Another Second short catch, and that's where they've been Third utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Smith goes in motion. Passes number called on second down and lowers his shoulder for the first. First down, Broncos. Garrison Hurst is having success on the outside and up the middle here. He's making the defense pay for his flexible running style. So far, he's got 96 yards on 30 carries. First and 10. Ball with the Broncos, 43 yard line. Second and five. Ball at the Broncos, 48 yard line. Lalee goes in motion. First, gets yet another carry for the day, and will lose about a yard here. Fred Thomas was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Third down, empty backfield. Plummer lobs this one a bit, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Ashley Ambrose wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Nor gets ready to punt this away. Nor takes the snap and punts it away. Takes it at the 13. Ground to a halt at the 17. Michael Lewis got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice part pretty much goes unanswered. The Saints haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 17-yard line. McAllister gets the toss and passes the line. Tackles that to 23. John Lynn with the tackle. Second down, one man back. Ball at the Saints, 23 yard line. Horn goes in motion. No good, incomplete. Joe Horn Joe had that one come right receiver. to him back there. You have to Kelly catch Herndon those passes, baby. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. We almost got him, baby. Third and four. Up. Ball at the Saints, 23-yard line. McAllister gets the call on third down, and gets tackled short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. John Mobley made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's got seven Your tackles so far. Berger lines up Rod to punt Smith after the three return. and out. Berger takes the snap and pummels this one deep. 
Smith fields a deep punt at the 29. Puck hard at the 40. Rod Smith returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Broncos stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 40-yard line. Plummer fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. the dart right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Plummer zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete. Orlando Ruff came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second, Second down, tight end to the left. The 34 yard line. It's a Tackled at the nine. Fred Thomas timed his jump perfectly on that last play to pick off the pass. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. The Saints are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at their own nine-yard line. Alistair cruises out to the left side and hands wide left. Eventually runs out at the 28. That will bring up first down. Bruce McAllister sticks close to the sidelines and racks up a bunch of yards. Then he goes out of bounds well past the markers, I might add. Yeah, he went for the whole enchilada on that play, and I'm not talking about those mini appetizer ones either. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 115 yards on over 30 carries. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. McAllister Deuce picks McAllister up a yard on the play, carrier. and that will bring up Alan second Wilson down. With the tackle. Second down, second and, and they line up with three Ball tight ends. called on second down and picks up a couple. Deuce McAllister got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third and six. Ball at the Saints, 31-yard line. Brings up fourth down. With Nick tackle. Ferguson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job holding them back, Dan. Fourth and short. Berger lines up for the punt. Gets the ball and punts it away. Smith 
Fields the punt at the 23. Tackled at the 27. Rod Smith didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. First the Broncos ten. start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 1.53. No dice, and it falls incomplete, incomplete. With the deflection. Yeah, baby, shut him down, sit him down, get him out of our stadium. Oh! We're going out. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Broncos, 27 yard line. Plummer throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. Rod Smith had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his third drop of the game, and that has to be frustrating. He's getting the passes, but he's not holding on to them. Yeah, strange. He almost always makes those catches. Third down. The clock is stopped at 1.46. Catches the hard down, throw Broncos. and the Broncos take their first time out. Oh, come on. That's not defense, eh? Let's buckle down here. Buckle down. First, first down, ten. 10 yards to go. Ball with the Broncos, 45 yard line. Plummer throws a bullet and it is Passes not reeled in. Incomplete. Rod Smith. Rod Smith tried to snag that one across the middle, but it doesn't happen. Another company. ball comes his way and another incompletion. To come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely. But you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Weaver down reels the in the foot. The Broncos will take a timeout. That's their second. First down and five wide receivers take the field. it to the right side and this one is incomplete. Ashley Lalee had Lally that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. That falls incomplete but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second down. The clock is stopped at 128. Lee makes the catch on the right sideline and gets the first. He's out of bounds, and that will stop the clock at 123. Fred Thomas makes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. First down, First coming up on the 10th play the of the drive. <laughs> Plummer throws a heater right sideline, and timeout the Broncos ball. take a timeout. That's their final one. Well, look there, he's up over 300 yards for the day. 24 yard line. Smith snags the dart right sideline, and that will stop the clock at. Rod Smith got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short.
Plummer rifles it out left side, and the catch is made at the 15, and he's stopped right there. First, First down. down, Bronco. Single back, single back. Hauls it in right side, and the clock continues to wind down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Plummer hopes this to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Check out the interception here on the replay. There. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Second and 11. Ball at the Saints, 19-yard line. Down! Set! Black, 43! Black, 43! And that will do it That's for tonight's the game. The Saints come out on top, 33-17. to 17. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Saints stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Jake the Snake Plumber would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Saints on defense already inside field goal range. Champ Bailey would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Saints leading by 13. John Carney, good night everybody! Is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. They move ahead by 16. The Bronx on D. Jay Bellamy is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Bronx down 30 to 14. After driving 20 yards on six plays, John Carney, good night everybody, would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 29 yard field goal. The Saints move ahead big and now lead by 19. Lucky to Bucky Jones would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Bronx behind by 19. Jake the Snake Plumber would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They close in a little. They're now down by 16. The Bronx have it again. Fred Thomas was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Bronx behind 33 to 17. Ace, Deuce, and plenty of use McAllister would find an opening here and he was off. The Bronx on defense already in the red zone. Lucky to Bucky Jones shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints win this one 33 to 17. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our player of the game award. Aaron Brooks is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly, and you prevailed with a big victory. What was the key to your success? 
Our offense was really in rhythm tonight, moving the ball well and putting points on the board. They were having a tough time stopping us. We just executed, executed, and executed the way we needed to win this game. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.